For our videos, the procedures are the same for LIMDEP and ENLOGIT, so I'll just refer to LIMDEP. This video will illustrate a few data handling features using one of the datasets distributed with the program. From the File menu, let's select Open Project, find the Dairy Project file, and double-click it. To view the data, let's open the data editor by either double-clicking any variable name in the project window or clicking the icon on the toolbar. The active sample is all the observations in the data set. The current sample might be the whole data set or a subset of the observations. The chevron symbols at the left of the data window indicate the observations that are in the current sample. There will be occasions when you want to analyze only part of the data set. Three commands that can change the active sample are Sample, Reject, and Include. These change the rows of the data set that are used, but they do not actually delete or add observations to your data set. Let's open an editing window to show a few examples. You can use the Sample command to set the rows. Let's set the active rows from 4 to 10. The command is followed by a semicolon, and each command ends with a dollar sign. Let's run the command. For a one-line command, you can place your cursor anywhere on that line. You can run the command with the Go button, the Run menu, or Control-R on the keyboard. You can see the commands echoed in the output window and can see that the chevrons now mark only the specified rows 4 to 10. Any analysis now operates only on these observations. The full sample is restored with Sample All. Again, the command is echoed in the output window and the chevrons now mark all the observations in the sample. The reject command removes observations based on the condition you specify. The format is reject condition. For example, there are six years of data in our dairy data, 1993 to 1998. If we wanted to use only the 1993 data, we might use reject year does not equal 93. You can see that all the years except 1993 are now removed from the sample. You can specify more than one year using an ampersand for and and a bar symbol for or. First reset the sample with sample all, then to reject all years except 1993 and 1994 we might use reject year does not equal 93 and year does not equal 94. The full sample is restored once again with sample all. The include command adds observations to the current sample by indicating particular rows of the data set. You can start from no data in the current sample by adding the specification new. The format is include new condition. For example, this command includes only the 1993 data include new year equals 93. This does the same thing as rejecting observations that are not equal to 93. Again, you can restore the full sample with sample all. You can also change the active sample temporarily for the purpose of a single command. For example, we could compute a regression using only the 1993 data. The command is regress, the if condition is year equals 93 using square brackets, followed by the selected left-hand side and right-hand side variables. This command only changes the active sample for the purpose of a single model command. It would be equivalent to three separate commands, reject to set the year, regress to compute the regression, and sample all to restore the sample. Those are the basics of data handling. Thanks for watching.